What's up, everybody? Welcome back to some more Dirty Supercard. And for today's video, um, we do have a new Road to Glory announce, which was, you know, announced yesterday, but I'm a little too late, but it's still okay. And we're also gonna check on how I'm doing in King of the Ring, which we about uh have three more matches, you know, after the, the game 42, to get to the contenders bracket. So let's start off with the Road to Glory event. As you can see, we are gonna have the little intro: Big John Studd, The Rio, Rey Mysterio, Edge, Ric Flair, Undertaker, Triple H, Sheamus, and of course the main prize, Batista. So in fact, uh, when this Road to Glory was announced, I believe he was a um, he was a yellow down arrow card, but and the only game that uh, got a lot of feedbacks from a lot of people from the forums, you know, his tweets. And he said um, he basically brought up the card again, but this time it was a blue arrow card. So what makes it pretty funny is that he, in fact, could be called the Blue Tista because everything is all blue. In fact, even his arrow is blue now. So let's tap to continue. So let's wait on number real quick and let's compare. Let, but first of all, before we uh, look at the stats, we're gonna see what card does uh, help me with the catalog. Of course, Big John Stud. I don't need him. I already completed the comments, the on comments as well. The rare. All right, the super rare. I'm still in look for the Rey Mysterio. I wish you know Rey Mysterio was in the super rare because that would have been so good. I would have completed my super rare catalog. But you know the edge, I already have him. Ultra rare, I'm not done yet, but I already have Rick Flair, and he has come out. He has like I already pulled him so many times, especially in Epic and Ultra rare. Epic Undertaker, I never actually pulled an Epic Undertaker, so this is gonna be my first. Triple H, I already have him a Legendary Pro, so this is, so this one's gonna, uh, this Triple H is just gonna be fed. And this Sheamus, I do believe, is in the game already. Like, uh, some people already have the pro version. Some people already have, like, you know, the extra cards. So, when once they get this one, they could definitely pro it out. Alright, so now we're here for the main prize. The Batista. So, it seems like his power is going to be pretty good. Almost reaching 900. And toughness, 881. I'm not sure how that compares to the rest. And speed, 785. So, um, give me a second, people. So it seems like his um speed is gonna be weaker than um Banu's Barrett because Banu's Barrett did had a he did have about an 811. At first he did have 611, but who knows if they, if they are going to buff up Batista. But I really think he's already strong overall. So yeah, we're going to see. Hopefully this Road to Glory is not too broken as it was in the last one where he got too, too difficulty to advance or progress. But yeah, not enough of that. Let's check on my deck. Let's see how strong or good is it um okay so I don't know why Banyu's Barrett is there I guess I'll autofill there we go so so far my weakest card from the superstars is now Bruno San Martino legendary pro but remember I still need to add I still need to train right away to pepper to the full also bold Dallas and I still need to train the other Dean Ambrose. And also Tito Santana needs to be added into the team. So that'll make it a, a total of three. So we're gonna see Bruno San Martino out, both the Undertakers out. Basically, my weakest card will be Legendary Pro Rey Mysterio. So now let's look at the Diva side. Uh, my strongest one is still Natalia Survivor Pro. My second one will be Survivor Pro Eve. And then it'll come up with Legendary Pro AJ Lee 
And of course, my weakest diva now is um legendary pro Nikki Bella. But I still need to add um, which we call it. I still need to add the Survivor Pro, AJ Lee, which of course I already got a second card, and it'll be better off if I uh you know pro her. But not right this instant because I'm still gonna be facing against common cards, you know. But I'm still gonna be facing the weak cards at start. But I'm gonna have him need to train him up right about mm, maybe tomorrow, because that's when it starts getting to like the good stuff. Where I'm starting getting to the maybe the epics. I believe I'll be there by tomorrow, depending if I get title belts or not. And by the next day after that, I'll probably be on the legendary or survivor rating. And that's where it starts getting like you know more and more tough. But we'll see how it goes from there, especially now that my team has been improved. So, um, I still haven't got nothing, no good pulls yet. So, I'm not going to check on the latest pulls. So, what we're going to do is check on my King of the Ring. So, let's go to Manage Superstars. And basically, what I did is enter a team with the full survivor pro the reason behind that is I don't feel like myself grinding for energy especially after so much grinding in the PCC I just felt it like not grinding no more and yeah basically what I'm doing just switching off players you know you can, you can tell all my players are tired 0 out of 10 energies you see <laughs> I still ha I believe I still have in the Touch exhibition since uh, the last King of the Ring that I was in, which was against Dez. So, yeah, we are uh, four more games away from the contenders bracket, and so far it seems like I'm gonna win this one just because I have two people that are, like, you know, that are not bots, and one of them is Unga. So, he does have two Road to Glory cards. Which is Sting and Roman Reigns, but his tag team, you know, his tag team is only Survivor Pros, so that's not really much threatening because I have a Bad News Barrett. And of course, when you have Bad News Barrett in your team, he's gonna do pretty good because it's three Rolls of Glory cards. And look at his tag team. His tag team won't touch my tag team, of course. This is not my real tag team, this is, you know, I was substituting players off and on. And the other real player is Shaw. So this guy only has one Road to Glory card, and it is Roman Reigns. But the thing that I don't hate, I mean the thing that I do hate, is that coming to the standings, uh, I don't know why I'm still, like, you know, I should be on top. But of course he's on top, I don't know why. But, you know, I kind of hate that because, you know, the, one, the ones on the top is going to avoid facing Unga at the semifinals. And I'd rather face Shaw than Unga at the semifinal because Unga does have Road to Glory cards. Two Road to Glory cards. Which compared to Shaw only has one Road to Glory card. And they both have kind of alright divas. I believe Shaw has Survivor Pro Naomi. And the other one has Survivor Pro Layla. So I think Survivor Pro Eve could even take them out. But of course I'm going to go with Survivor Pro Natalia to go all the way. And... Yeah, and I'll, and I'll keep the other rest of the mystery just in case the other, the, you know, the people that are playing against me are watching. Because I'm not tending to get my, uh, you know, my cards away who I'm putting against. So for now, we still have 14 hours left for Royal to Glory to start. So let's end the video with one exhibition match. And let's see who pops out on the list. Let's face, uh, this guy poops. And I'm pretty sure I did see them in uh, one of some of some of the other guys' uh, YouTube videos. I forgot whose it was, but I remember it was hilarious because I, when I seen this guy poops, probably I was like, "Oh my god, this guy poops!" I forgot whose video I seen him from, but I believe it's one of the the fellow YouTubers. So let's go to Power Charisma. I am gonna use a Charisma support using Sting, of course. And of, <laughs> yeah, why not? They're gonna throw in their Sting as well. But I should win because of my survivor charisma, unless they do have the same. 
and they don't I believe they use the Undertaker so we are gonna take that one tag team toughness he's probably gonna run the same thing as I am the Roman Reigns with the bad news bird and he's not he's gonna actually run with the Roman Reigns and Chris Jericho so we are gonna win this one 2-0 last match doesn't matter hopefully it is a diva and it's not I think he might have a bad news bird here and nope he doesn't so yep he didn't uh in fact get the bad news bird so we're gonna win this one 3-0 all right so let's get some pulls out of here hopefully I do get an energy a speed boost why not talking about speed boost I need to check how much boost I have I totally forgot about my boost you know I haven't grinded nothing as of yet probably had five matches throughout this whole King of the Ring so my charisma boost seems pretty good and my speed boost pretty alright uh, but I definitely do need four boost because if it still goes the same where I'm gonna be second place even though it says I'm first um, I'm still gonna face Ungas in my final so I'm gonna need two boosts against him and of course two other boosts going against Shaw in the finals and the only way I could lose is if I'm not, if I'm not active but yeah of course I'm gonna be active but we'll see how it goes from there hope you guys did enjoy this video and of course I'll catch you guys in the next one